Okay, so we got our inside corner all mounted, the board notched and screwed back into place and everything temporary and plumbed up. So now we need to mount this outside corner. And there's quite a bit of notching. We got the overhang of the deck. We got a little bit of overhang on this fascia board here. And so we need to cut both of those back and we need to mark those. And so when we set this post here, it needs to be at the same plane as this post. And sometimes those will be a long way away. Of course, on this demonstration, it isn't. So an easy way to do that is just go ahead and cut a stick that just fits underneath that flange, that mounting flange right there. That way you can make sure this post is in the exact same height so we don't wind up with anything weird. So you can put this post here, take your stick that you've cut, and just put it right there, and that'll hold us at the right height. And we know we're at the right height now, so our plane here will be the same. So, and it's a little bit hard because decks aren't always perfectly um, level, so sometimes it works better just measuring off the deck versus trying to use a level or something like that. So I got that done, and I need to mark this piece of fascia that overhangs so I can cut it so my deck can start to move back in, or my post can start to move back into place. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and temporarily screw this here just to get, get everything started um, of where I need to notch it. And that's usually the easiest way to do that. So. So there we're notched in there temporarily. Or not notched, but screwed in temporarily. So now I can start to figure out my, cut my notch here for this, and then start to cut my deck back from my notch for my post to sit there. So I'll mark this out and cut this back. I want to cut it flush with this plane on this one. And so I'll notch into here, notch into here, cut that back, and then I'll start to cut this in here to get my post back in position. Okay, I've taken my jigsaw and I've cut this corner off to where it's flush so my post can start to get into place. And we just want to continue marking and, and cutting this into place. We don't want to get too aggressive and mess things up. So we've put this into place and then we can go ahead and we know our post is going to continue to move this way so we need to cut some of this deck back. So we want to mark it here where we want to cut. And then we want to figure out how far it needs to move back. And that's just essentially whatever distance this um, plate on this, this side that you can't see is back. Because this plate is flush up against, the, um, up against this face. So it's where it needs to be. So we just need to figure out how far back to cut that to get this in the proper line. We're about 3 eighths of an inch here. So we want to cut about 3 eighths of an inch off of that corner here. So we'll notch a 3 eighths inch notch out of this corner and that should let us into where we need to screw this down. We'll do that. Okay, as you can see I went ahead and cut our notch out 3 eighths of an inch deep on this was 3 eighths of an inch deep back to where I marked where our post set so our plate will fit flush in there or should. So we put it up there. Looks pretty good. We want to make sure we get this plate at the right height for this post. So let's go back to our little template that we caught for our height here just to make sure that we don't get out of whack there. So, and then we just look and make sure our plate's fitting tight against the deck, which it seems to be. So I'm going to go ahead and put a temporary screw in it. Don't want to do that, but it happens. got us held there to a certain degree. So let's check our plumb and see how bad we are if we need to do anything to adjust. Okay, we're looking real good that direction. We could go back just a little bit on this one. The top of the post needs to come over just a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and screw that, temporarily screw that into place. And we'll check it again. Okay. Let's double 
check this. Looking good that way. Looking good that way. So now we have our post temporarily screwed into place where it isn't going anywhere. And we can go ahead and remove this out of the way. We don't want to scratch our post up with it. Let's slide it that way. So now we have our outside corner set. And like I said before, whenever you're setting posts, no matter how far these two are apart, this would be your next, your corner would be your next one. And then you can fill in your intermediate posts as needed. So we got that plane done. Now we need to turn it back to the building. So we have a, st a starter post over here that will mount. And there again, no matter how far apart this is, you mount this post and then that lines up all your holes um, going across and you line up your intermediate post to that. So I'll grab that and we'll start that post next.